Well, hello. So today we're going to talk about allergies. I know, allergies. So how do you heal allergies? Well, a great way to heal allergies is with kombucha. Now, I recommend one cup of kombucha to two cups of water that you drink. Why? Because kombucha works with your liver. It works with your di with your digestive system. So it starts to uh, uh, basically remove all the toxins and stuff like that that are going on in your, in your body. And also it's boosting your immune system at the same time. And it's also high in alkalinity, so it's helping your pH balance of your body. It is an amazing, amazing drink. It is reasonably expensive, but I'm going to teach you how to make it yourself. Yep. So kombucha is a fermentation. I'm going to drink a little bit. And it has a little bit of a vinegary taste. I like it. It's an acquired taste. But it's really good because it helps clear up all your nasal passages. I know that if you have watery eyes, it just helps flush all that out in here and in here. And everything it helps to balance your skin in order so that if you have, like, I know that I have dry areas right in here, but when I drink kombucha, it just, and I have oily areas right in here, but it just kind of all balances itself out. It allows for the cellular structures to be able to uh, direct properly in a well-balanced manner. <laughs> but you can grow kombucha on your own, and this is my friend, Koopchi. Koopchi. Now, you see that little pinky Larry area right there? Well, that's a new kombucha that's forming. And I call my kombucha Koopchi because I use Dr. Emoto teachings. Dr. Emoto is a gentleman who, and you can look him up on Dr. Masaru Emoto, used a, a spirituality and, a, well, spiritual technology of infusing energy and thought into objects in order to, because water has memory. So when you, I, I, that's why I call this one Koopchi. And Koopchi makes an amazing kombucha juice. How do you do it? So what you do is you get the culture, a little bit of what's left of the tea. You want to save a little bit or a lot of it or whatever, just a cup of, of the tea. And then you put it in a glass jar. You do not want to use uh, plastic or ceramic because you could poison yourself because it, it does. there's a fermentation, so you want to use glass uh, that is happening. There's a breakdown of chemicals, so you want to be able to use the best equipment. So what you do is you get a T-shirt. This is like a little, you know, bro an old t-shirt. You put it on top of so it breathes, so it allows the kombucha to be able to breathe. You take a wire. I recommend a wire. You can take a rubber band or whatever. And then you wrap it around. I, I like a wire just to make it a little bit more secure. And then also I can take it out quickly. Uh, well, not quickly, but, you know, I, I just like it. I just like it. So that's how you make kombucha. And you wait about mm, two weeks. In, oh, what? How, do, how does it eat? So what you do is you get the culture. You get about, I don't think about two cups of sugar, uh, three cups of sugar, maybe three cups of sugar. Depends on how sugary you want it because it will eat up that sugar and it will remain some sugar left. So you can make it sugar or sugary or you can make it a little bit less sugary. But I, I wouldn't go below two cups of sugar because it's just, you know, that's not nice to cook to, to the kombucha mushroom. So, and then you take black tea or green tea. I recommend green tea. I've, I've been using green tea, and green tea has been going really well. Earl Grey doesn't seem to go very well, some people say. Um, and, of course, the most organic, the better, you know, uh, the, the best sugar, uh, the better you can do it. Uh, does it work with honey? I don't think it does, just because of the chemical properties of honey. I'm not quite sure, but go ahead and experiment. I think that's a really great way. But especially during, uh, you know, allergy season, I think it's really important to have yourself a little uh, kombucha uh, jar and, and make yourself some kombucha tea in order to, so that you can function, because I know that allergies can be horrible. And I personally have found that this is the only answer. It doesn't make me sleepy. It doesn't make me groggy. It actually gives me energy and it actually balances out my system and allows me. And I'm starting today. I, I've been missing on my kombucha. What do you think? Do you drink kombucha? Do you like it? Thank you. And I wish you a wonderful, 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 wonderful. Yes.